think we got her. That wasn't that bad. I should have fixed it yesterday. Since I have the plasma cutter out, I think I might go ahead and want to cut this hole a little bigger. I think right now I'm going to start putting the fenders back on. I'm having trouble getting this fender gap right. I can't get the front of the fender down enough. I started looking at the body lines. And I think the cab is setting a little low. So if I shim the cab up, it'll come up and take that gap out. I need to shim it up. Three eighths, maybe three eighths of an inch. And then shim the front up to make the fender fit. Okay, I jacked the body up, got the body line right there. And I got a better gap here, which I can take even more gap out with jacking it. Well, heck, that rocker that I sealed up, I welded the plates back on it. <laughs> that's, that's what's hitting the fender. Ah, I cut a little gap out of it. Alright, I got a pretty good fit. And it's a little bit outboard. You doing, know, baby dog? Come on. Got the fittings in today that I ordered. They fit. Tightened up really nice. I bent them because they were straight. I wanted a little bend to them. I didn't want them just sticking straight out. Anyway, on this Turbo Hydromatic 350, bottom to bottom, top to bottom, and top to top. Now, let's start making a bracket. Let's get a bracket on here. I'll just make an L bracket, and it'll go right here. Not exactly perfect, but it keeps it right. And I screwed this this oil cooler on. I'm gonna put one of these rev nuts like this with the with the threads in it down here. But look at this thing; it, it's already tough, and it don't even have a screw in it. I was wondering if it would hold it out from the radiator. I have no problem unless you're doing. Hey, you can do 300 mile an hour with that. <laughs> uh, go Terry. I'm not very good at keeping up with what videos I've done and what I've made. I'm going to have to get this stuff organized because I'm kind of getting lost on all this video and stuff. Anyway, here's where we're at. Yesterday I finally got the fenders right. Got the hood. Hood gaps. This one's a little close, but it'll work. It's a lot better. Got our hood looking good, except for when I close the hood, this side still stays up. These hinges did not have slotted holes. They are just round holes. So I'm gonna take the hinge back off and, and drop the back of the hinge down a little bit. <laughs> That should set our hood down. The next thing, put the headlights in, get the wires hooked up, get the grill in there. Before I do any of that stuff, I have to fix this. Caprice is leaking coolant, van has a flat tire, and I have a messed up truck in the back. And it's raining. There's my baby.